guys, it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here, and today I'm privileged to be with Christina D'Agostino. Hey, Christina. Hi, Lauren. Hi, everyone. Hi. Well, welcome back Thank onto you. Rave It Up. It has, I would say, been a while. It has been a while. We were last on the show, October 2018. Wow. Yeah, that time has flown. We've both been busy, though. Yeah, we have. We yeah. have, which is so lovely, and I think we're both very grateful for that. Oh, yeah. yeah, always in work, which is yeah, great. Yeah, which is nice. Last time Christina was on the show was back when she was in a Jersey Boys yes. musical. Yes. Playing Mary Delgado, but yes. also a lot of roles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was you a busy women. show. Jeez. It was a busy show for the ladies. <laughs> But we were actually, we had so much fun because of that though, yeah. you know, and it was just a nice camaraderie between everybody and just a beautiful show to be a part of. I'm so grateful for that experience. Mm. Yeah. How was the rest of the experience after we it was great. had a chat? It was e- How long we, um, you guys were on for several months. Yeah, we toured till about April, yeah, yeah. 2019. So it was still like yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was wonderful. Super easy. Great people. And that was your dream role too, it really from was. memory. You told me that. It was, oh. yeah. So I was genuinely just felt like I was living the dream. I was so excited to go to work and be a part of such a special production and, you know, have my baby come along for the ride and my I family you there. telling me you were pregnant when you auditioned. Yeah, that like, was... Like, that's m- a bit of a risk, guys. Yeah, that was massive. <laughs> yes, I was like 11 weeks pregnant and I had... I think I told you, did I tell you last time that I passed out the morning of my audition? No, you didn't. Yeah. So, I feel a story coming on. <laughs> yeah, so I actually fainted the morning of. Um, oh, my goodness. It's like Frankie took all of my blood sugar levels. And um, my hubby was overseas at the time, and so oh. I was by myself. And I was really annoyed. I just put on my makeup and everything ready for my audition, and then I kind of was a bit sweaty from the fainting. How close to having to leave the house? Probably about half an hour before. So oh then I just, like, you know, I got myself together put my makeup back on, drove very slowly to the audition, (laughs) and the rest is history. It's kind of like it was meant to be. I mean, Frankie did sabo me in the meantime. (laughs) Just a little bit. um, It happened, and I am, yeah, it's just been a really epic story to tell ever since. And And I will tell her. You will tell her in the future. I will tell her. (laughs) At her 21st, you (laughs) nearly sabotaged my Jersey Boys (laughs) musical. Yeah. You could have been this close not to get (sighs) married. And I couldn't imagine anybody else playing that role. You Thanks, were amazing, Lauren. and I'm not just saying that because we're friends now, but Thanks, mate. outstanding. I, and I if people have seen it, and you do agree with me, comment below. Thank you. And just rave awesome. about Christina. <laughs> Thanks. So that she's always in work. Hey, thanks. I'll pay you later. <laughs> now, a lot of things also have changed since then. Too, yeah, you know? it's been yeah. a couple of years. For yes. one thing, you had longer hair I then did. as well. I'm well, a mum now. Yeah, what why I did say? you? Well, you were a mum back then too. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was why just did you a, change it? Do you know what? I actually had cut my hair like when I got married and then grew it again. I just, I'm always changing. I just, I'm one of those people, which is why I probably don't have like a standard nine to five job you know because, because you I'm different. well because I'm always needing to like I don't know mix it up mix it up life's too short oh, you've got red hair now too so yeah change the color as well when I walked in I was like that's Christina right <laughs> yep yep okay yep <laughs> Next time, this obviously is recent because uh, you know what? Next time I'll actually be really white because I'm hiding all my greys in here. Oh, <laughs> can't even see what greys. Frankie already bringing the greys out. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not looking forward to being a mother. No, anyway, it's great. It's great. <laughs> you are currently working on yes. Shrek the Musical as the resident choreographer. Yeah. Now, choreographer, that's quite different from everything else I've seen you in. But I did read in your bio that you have done choreography before. Yeah. You. Uh, we're a choreographer for Federation University's yes. production of Rent. I that was, was back in 2017. Yes. And then you've also choreographed like, cruise ships yeah. and everything along the way. But yeah. this must be very different. This <laughs> is, this. can I tell you, without getting emotional, this has probably been one of the best experiences of my career and my life thus More far. More than Jersey Boys? That's um, a big statement. In a different way. In a different way. In a different yep. way. And I'll tell you why. Because, because I've spent most of my career, or all of my career, on the stage predominantly, being behind the scenes and on the creative side of things now, mm. I have, I just feel like I have, I totally understand how the cast are feeling and where they're at and the different stages that go that you go through in order to you know make a production happen so I was fortunate enough to be in the audition period of of auditioning everybody of oh, yeah wow. being being amongst that all and I just knew exactly how they were feeling and I was able to um, pass on 
those feelings and hopefully I hope what I did was nurture those and and give them the best experience that they could in mm. that audition process because I was actually fortunate enough to to hold the auditions in Sydney uh, the yeah. choreography auditions and I just because I know what it's like on the other side and I know the nerves and I know the this and the that and I know how good you want to be on the day but it's just it's one of those out of body very unnatural experiences I was hoping to just harness everybody's confidence and whether they're uh, they feel like they're a stronger dancer or not or mm. just make everybody's journey an enjoyable one and make yeah. it achievable for everybody so because of that I feel like being on this side of things for the very first time I really do resonate with exactly how everybody's feelings and I think yeah. that that combination and that relationship is really beneficial you can be there for them you know yep. if they're stressing out totally. having a panic attack or anything like that you know how they're feeling I t totally and then you know you get to the rehearsal period and I know what that's like because the first week you've got the adrenaline the second week it's a little bit you know different again and then so on and so forth mm. and then you go into tech period and then there's opening night and then there's actually running the show so I feel like because I, I get where they're at um, I, I hope that I am able to just communicate and, and nurture them through wow so many adrenaline rushes you know totally. you get over one thing and then one hurdle and you hurdles. go over another one hurdles man oh my yeah. Goodness. yeah so can you tell us about the the moment that you got the call that you got the job oh, have man. they just looked at your other work and found yes. you through that or did you actually have to go through an audition process yeah like that's a really good question so i have um, no idea how it works <laughs> well i think it's also just individual like um, it might be different for everybody but um i've been fortunate enough to work with some phenomenal people um in my career thus far and um there were some wonderful people in the industry who were backing me um, wow, nice. for this gig and then I had like a Skype interview with the associate in London and then the call came through and I was over the moon. Totally I can understand why. <laughs> you know, because this is just, uh, I feel really blessed that I get to be involved with a production such as this because it's just such a heartfelt, beautiful show. Have you seen yeah, it yet? No, no, no I haven't. Yeah. But everybody yeah, loves Shrek it's, it's, it's not, Shrek you know it's such a kid friendly show but there's so many lessons oh my gosh. within it you yeah know? not judging a book by its cover you know no, being totally, there for your friends totally it's, it's an yeah the just an amazing storyline it is and you should see the audiences it's like from like toddlers to you know to teens to adults to you know to grandmas yeah, yeah it's like the demographic is so huge and yeah, and I mean, I, I'm not biased in saying that this company is outstanding and I'm so inspired by their work every day and I, I know you guys know I feel that way and I think everybody will be so um, pleased and thrilled and definitely find them entirely entertaining when they come and see the show, yeah. And is it is it still based on the movie or have you guys changed it a little no, bit? It, I don't know if you can reveal anything I mean, like yeah, that, it's like, uh, without giving away too much, it it um, it stays true to um, the movie, but it also stands on its own two feet. Do you oh, know what I mean? Great. Yeah, and the music is amazing and it genuinely caters for every type of musical genre. I That is cool. And the choreography and the scene work and the, it's just been thought about mm. so much. Yeah, let I think me just say that. They've cast well too, you know, oh, yeah. Todd McKenney, Lucy yeah. Durack, yeah, yeah, yep. Marsha Hines, you, Ben, on, let's be the honest. entire ensemble cast of this show are ridiculous. Yep. What do you think has been like the most challenging part for you though? Ooh. Um, oh, you know what? It's going to sound pretty it's going to sound pretty lame, but like <laughs> the whole thing has been that enjoyable that it's never once felt like Wow. It's uh, been, it's never felt difficult or it's always been enjoyable. The Probably one of the most challenging things was um, I actually um, learnt a lot of the choreography and taught a lot of it in the rehearsal room, which wow. was, I, and I mean, I've taught, I've taught my whole career and I, I've taught, yeah, I teach a lot um, when I'm so in that between part jobs. Wasn't so new, that, that's yeah. not new, but I think just. At this capacity like it's a musical it's a multi-million dollar show and given that um i could just given that little kind of i don't know nudge and confidence to kind of go yep okay you can learn this and you can teach this was really scary but really cool at the same time so that was really challenging but i absolutely thrived i i thrived from the experience you know as um a company and being able to create that relationship mm. with 
everybody that I was working with. And I'm sure you are growing so much. I'm learning a lot. I am really learning a lot. And you, it's so true. You don't ever stop learning ever. And I think, yeah, it's that's what I mean. It's been one of the best things to have ever happened. Mm. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. I'm so proud of thanks, you. Thanks, man. Thanks. Just conquering the world well, um, one musical at a time. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, embrace new opportunities. Yeah. I think that's an important thing, yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody, it is here at Sydney Lyric Theatre yes. until the 9th of February. Correct. And then it's going to be on to Melbourne and then Brisbane. So everyone go buy tickets before they're all sold out because it's so popular. Like, it is actually, <laughs> I'm yeah, seeing advertisements really everywhere. Yeah, it's You know, well. it's incredible. So I'm, I'm glad that you, you actually have the time to come and talk to us today. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to you, yes. Oh, as soon as you got my message, I was like, yes, girl. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I, Always. I, the big thing I remember from our last interview was just how much fun we had. Yeah. How we, much we laughed. Yeah. And I hope everyone else had fun watching us. Yeah, we can <laughs> chat forever, I We think. could. We'd, I was just like, how long you have today? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you got a good hour? Because that'll, that'll help us. <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> well, I, I won't take an up an hour. No, no, no. Tell time, me. Because you're a busy woman. But another thing that on the side that is keeping you busy yes to say the least is you started an instagram blog yeah. called the show can go on yes love that title Thank by the you. way and you were also just featured actually your story was featured in uh what dance train yeah. magazine yeah. i saw that in your instagram that is really cool Thank so you. how's the journey been with this blog so far you know yeah. you've really turned into an amazing role model ever since also being a mother. You're already an amazing role model just for being on stage, but now you're really sharing your story out there and you shared some interesting things in that too. Yeah. I didn't know that you actually had a miscarriage yeah. before, frankly. Yeah, if, if, if I can say I'm so anything. so sorry to hear that. But thank you, it, and thank you for everything you just said because I think it's just it's people like you that are so supportive and understanding of you know others that like it just generates this this love and um, a community a sense well, of we've community. We've got to be there for each other, you know. And it's, that's where the Instagram blog. Some yeah. people find it hard to put a story out there like yeah, that, yeah. but it's really it's helping other women that Correct. may have gone through that. And you know now you've Correct. got Frankie, so totally. So and it blessed. is it is I'm blessed, and it's all a learning curve. And that's exactly where this blog kind of came from. I you know when I before I even started Jersey Boys when I was pregnant and um, a lot of mates of mine were kind of genuinely going, how are you going to do this? How are you working full time? Have a four month old, like how will it all happen? And then it was also people just curiously going, how how did you do it? Because I would like I to start a family thing. or um, so real realistically and you know, I kind of just thought, why not get all of this out in the open? Why not? talk about it all so that we have a sense of community and so that you don't feel alone and mm. that you can feel like it's achievable because it really is oh yeah and you know it takes an Balancing, absolute yeah. yes <laughs> exactly it takes a tribe an absolute tribe to make it work but it is so important to just know that you can do it mm -hmm. so even for me putting out there like my you know my personal experiences some really you know hard things to share I I know that in my healing after my miscarriage talking about it was the best thing and a lot it, it's very common and when it's not spoken about which is you know I get why we don't want to talk about it it is a moment in your life if you've ever experienced it that you don't want to relive yeah, however a different type of loss yeah it's hard it's heartbreaking um, but you know talking through it it just helps you get through it mm. and I found a lot of beautiful people just reaching out and wanting to share their stories and so that's where it kind of all unfolded and just a lot of people DMing me asking certain questions and going hey I've got this going on do you reckon you could help me out with any advice you had I'm going through this I'm taking this job but I've got this, and my bub's only this old and yeah and then it's just as you've probably seen it's just kind of yeah been Snowballs. growing yeah, yeah and women have have so gladly shared their truths and um I just think it's a nice platform for everybody to get everything out there, feel mm. like they're a part of a community, support one another. And this is for mums and dads. I've had a lot of um, either fathers-to-be or fathers in the industry saying similar things. Like, it is just so great to know that, yeah, it's it's achievable and we can make this work. You can have it all. You can juggle it all. Still yeah. live your, your passion. Yeah. But, and be a good role model to your child that they should yes. go chase their dreams too. Totally. And yeah. that's where I'm, I'm all about that, Lauren. I kind of want, at the end of the day, my 
kid to, you know, feel like she can achieve it all as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think she's already on that path, isn't she? We're just chatting she's about she's busy. <gasps> With both you <laughs> and your husband being working in, mm. in the entertainment industry, you're both performers. She, she is going to be a performer. Yeah. I've already seen her on your Instagram and your Facebook. Yep. She she can already sing. <laughs> so you know I'm what? looking forward to growing up. I'll be honest, she bevels now. My husband just sent me a photo. Wow. She's beveling. Jeez. Very impressed. <laughs> and and put her in front of a camera. She's going to show uh, off. So mm -hmm. it's just inevitable, isn't it? Yep. Uh, which I would hope that's what you want her to do anyway. Uh, whatever she chooses. Exactly. You'll support her. I love yeah. that. And for yeah. everyone, it's not just Christina sharing her story on, mm -hmm. on the Instagram blog. She's yeah. got people like Lu Lucy Jurak just yeah. recently, a, vi a couple of videos of her. And it was actually very interesting watching her video and, and or listening to what she had to say because she really opened, you know, even I'm not a parent, but just opened my eyes to things that you don't actually think about. Like, yeah. you know, while she's had heaps of productions since oh she first gosh. had her first child and mm -hmm. You know, just even the thought of having to breastfeed in the middle of all this, oh, middle yeah. of rehearsals. Oh, yeah. And having, you know, to go away and do that and oh, then yeah. come back. And it's just... Oh, yeah. It's and already stressful enough performing and memorising your lines and not that I'm in this... But no, no, no. I'm you in the entertainment you're not, field. You're you know absolutely what I mean? yeah. right. And you know what? Then the added stress of... Totally. ...looking after a baby. Totally. And breastfeeding is exhausting and all of that. But do you know what? I'll be real, it actually gives you some ultimate perspective at the same time too. Of what's important in life. Yeah, yeah. and like how to manage everything and kind of go, you know what, like I have not sweated the small stuff like I do since I, I had Frankie. Like I just don't yeah. sweat the small stuff anymore. So it kind of gives you this empowerment. And I think I mentioned it in um, the article for Dance Train that, yeah, when I was breastfeeding during tech in Jersey Boys every 15-minute break, like I was knackered. Yeah. But at the same time, I was kind of – I felt empowered. I was like, I can do this, you know. Mm -hmm. and what can doing I this do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you feel like you feel – yeah, like you're achieving something really cool. So it, it is very tiring and you are exhausted. But at the same time, it gives you a lot too. And giving up your lunch breaks and yeah. things like yep. that. But, you know, oh yeah, it's you love your baby. so <laughs> That's it. You're pumping at lunch break, but it's not pretty, but it's, it's worth it. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And as I said, great role models, you girls. Thanks. Just, you can have it all. And I think Lucy is another amazing example of that. Yeah. She really <laughs> is. My goodness. The woman is How many just, things she does? I'm like, it's great. do you sleep? <laughs> It's amazing. You That's should ask her, that. to ask her. Do you ask sleep? Her. You should ask her. <laughs> That'd be my very first question. I will ask her. Yeah, right at the beginning of the interview. <laughs> man, it's just yeah, it's crazy. So yeah, thank you for mentioning it. and yeah, no, please follow welcome. the um, blog. It's at the show can go on. Mm. How long did it take you to come up with that title? Because I, it's, I love the title. Do you know what? Thank you. I actually that came to me really quick. It was my husband that helped me with a few hashtags, which <laughs> I thought was pretty cute. <laughs> he came up with um, lights, cuddles, action. Oh, I like that one. Yep. Uh, hashtag different stages. Yep. Yep. And yeah, I think that was they were the two. They were the two I, I liked. And, and the <laughs> show can go on, obviously. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I love that. Thanks. Well, good luck with it all. Thanks, Lauren. I'm going to obviously keep checking out the posts. Maybe share them. We'll see. But yeah, this yeah. is a good plug for you too. Thank but you. I, I was just really intrigued of your story and even that Jordan was away for the tap pack. Yeah. When that miscarriage happens, like that. Yeah. I'm here for you, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we don't. I didn't do know things, you then, but <laughs> we don't do things the easy way around here, do we? No. no it's yeah, fine. Well, it's all life lessons. You guys have got to. You got to travel to your jobs when you need to. As you said, he's about to go away for three yes. months again. And yes, he is. Yes, he is. You know, and <laughs> it's like excited that he's going. <laughs> no, but I'm happy for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Happy for him. You you wish you were there with him, but totally. You're it here is. doing your dream. Him. That's exactly it. And I think that's a, I think it's wonderful that we have that you know that understanding in our relationship that we mm. can follow our paths and be there for each other at the same time yeah well yeah. before we finish mm -hmm. up talking about this amazing Instagram blog and your journey with motherhood and juggling a career do you have any top tips yeah. for the people watching and listening to our radio show today for like working moms yeah or? working moms and being able to juggle both whether yeah. you are in yep. actually doing performing arts yeah or yeah not still juggling is hard <laughs> yeah 
First of all, I would say you can do it. Whatever you feel like you can't do, throw it away. You can absolutely do it. It mm. does take a little more organization. It takes more prepping. It becomes less about you, but you can absolutely be a team with your kids and your family and make it work. Juggling, it's just finding that happy medium of what works for you still, what works, what's you know the most beneficial for your child and your family and your relationships but it's so it is so 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 achievable 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 I can't mm -hmm. I can't say that more and you know there are so many mums in Shrek who are doing it you know there's another amazing mum uh, Denise Devlin who has like a 11th month 11th oh my month, goodness yeah baby and she's killing it like yeah and yes she's tired but you would never know because the woman is a thousand percent <laughs> every time she gets on that stage and wow. and that as a fellow mum and a fellow parent and same with Luce, you know, it's just because I, kn I know Love what it. you're going through and I have ultimate respect. And so mm. it's totally. Well, totally everyone thing. go follow the Instagram blog. The show yeah. can go on and also Thanks. follow Christina's one as well, because you can totally see that she is juggling it all. It, to, even me, you're an inspiration. I'm like, that's nice. Geez, if she's struggling motherhood and a career. I can juggle what I've got to juggle. Oh, look, it's all it's all relative to everyone's lives, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'd love to actually chat about that. Mm. It's kind of off the Instagram blog, but yeah. it's still about yeah. you and Jordan and your family, because yeah. both you and Jordan work full time as entertainers, mm -hmm. and I got to say, it's not a stable job. You know, very much freelance work. Yep. And never knowing like when your next yep. paycheck's gonna come in. Do you guys ever stress about that, or were you kind of always, you know, had savings set up before you even started a family? Yeah, I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, we, it is something that is, yeah, constantly at the back of your mind. I'll be real with you. Um, I grew up with accountants as parents, so okay, that's helpful. <laughs> I have been very good at saving. Um, I'll, I'll admit that, that, yep, saving has been on the top of the list from, you know, an early age. That's so, good. yeah, I feel like we're, we're, yeah, we're good at that. However, yeah, it's such it's an stressful. unpredictable lifestyle. And when you involve children in that too, you know, it kind of amps it up a bit. But I think too, it gives you that drive that you just got to keep. Mm. working you know you just no got time to, to just lounge around yeah no <laughs> no time to sit back and wait for the call got to create the opportunities as well mm. so i think for that as well that's important it's it's an important oh, yeah, reminder yeah. that you can't just sit back and wait for the gig because it ain't going to happen you've just got to fight just as much well that's why you see a lot of performers performers maybe creating their own show totally or they've started i don't know a youtube series or something totally you know they're freelancers they've got to find get their paycheck from yeah, somewhere. Yeah, well, that's it. Like Jordan with the tap pack. You know, mm. that's his... That's his baby. Yeah, it's, you know, there's three, four of them there that are just, that's their baby and they've spent years on it, you know? Good so, on. yeah. They're I doing well. They are. <laughs> They're off to the US. Oh, it's US. Exciting. That's a long way away. Making us all <laughs> proud. They really are. I'm sorry that he's no, going to leave you. it's so great. <laughs> the time difference will be thrilling. But, you know... He'll make it work. <laughs> just fine. It's 3 a.m. or whatever. I don't really... You think I would know the time difference? I know the time differences for my interviews. That's it. Do you know what? It's so funny. We just spoke about this last night, and I was like, okay, well, um, your night time will be my morning, so you better to call them because I'm guaranteed to be awake because Frankie will be awake. Yeah. If we flip it on the other side, you won't be awake. So yeah, exactly. Bring but my better just go with the with the baby's timetable, <laughs> yeah. and that's it. That's so exactly. Funny. That's when you're going to be awake when she's awake. That's it. Yeah. Well, good luck with it all. Thanks. Good Lauren. luck, Jordan haven't met you yet but I feel like I already know you um <laughs> now when we did have our original interview we did chat about that you're originally from Mount Gambier yeah. and I talked about your beginning stages everyone check out the previous interview if you want to hear more about that and you were also tra trained in jazz tap and ballet yeah you still do all of that as well are you kind of maybe incorporating that into Shrek somehow <laughs> yeah I think you know technique I will be the first advocate that technique is a solid foundation for any other style or any genre in particular those ones <laughs> yeah do you know and there's tapping in the show oh there's that's like, cool yeah yeah there are, see I need to see it there now. are so many <laughs> different genres in this show you do need to so yeah and, and we you know have, how much I love dance so I will you definitely need to have to see you it. need to come and see the show <laughs> it's definitely it's yeah. on the list yeah so yeah, oh, that's I'm great. A huge it's good that you're still doing all of that and staying trained and yeah, it's and important. Up with it, as I think weird so. as that sounds, but no, yeah, you yeah. got to keep up with it. 
Things change, don't they? Oh, yeah, you got to roll with the times, don't mm, you? Yeah. And in your whole career, you've mm. been in many musicals. We did mention Jersey Boys before. Incredible. I wish it was still on. Um, yeah, that was a good show. You've also been in Matilda, mm. Strictly Ballroom, West Side Story, A Chorus Line, The Addams Family, and Singing in the Rain. Yeah. Just to name a few. She's got heaps. I just chose the big ones. <laughs> What would you like to work on next in your career? Another Ooh. really, really big musical, or Ooh. do you kind of thrive with the smaller ones as well? Yeah, it's interesting because uh, you know, in between shows, yeah, there's been some space on occasions, and I've found that some of those really beautiful, um, just even smaller scaled productions yeah. have like been. Like ones at Hayes Theatre and yeah. stuff. They're beautiful. They are special. Mm. The <laughs> don't get me wrong. These are special, but there is something really, really beautiful about those smaller productions, and I have learnt so much from them all. Mm. Yeah. Funnily, yeah. You're open for anything. I'm really, yes. (laughs) Whoever's watching this, just whatever you got her for. Hey, you know what? I'm actually going to pay you later, so thank you. You're like acting as my manager right now. (laughs) Give me a ticket for Shrek. I'll be happy with that. Okay, I'll try. (laughs) Easy, done. Okay, love it. And since I did bring up the Adams Family musical oh, yeah. before, because I really loved that oh, one. Yeah. Looking up in your bio, you actually were the understudy for Morticia. Yes. Did you actually end up going on as her? Do you know what I? I oh didn't. God. The beautiful Chloe Dallymore was solid as never amazing. Sick, never had a day she off. She <laughs> was just oh, divine. If anybody didn't see Chloe in that role, you totally missed out mm. um we didn't run for as long unfortunately as long, long as yeah. what we wanted to so it was a bit of a shorter season but um i did get to rehearse and take in the role and that was a lot of fun oh well i'm sure with how much you loved her character if she if you did have to go on you'd be like do i have to yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> that's a lot of big shoes oh, to fill there oh, huge <laughs> but shoes. i could see you with morticia that's why really I'm like, is that a good thing? It, I was about to say, it was meant to be a compliment. <laughs> it didn't really that. come out as one. No, I love that. Thank, thank meant to you. be a compliment. So, who knows in the future? Thanks, Lauren. Really yeah, no. I hope that, you know, whatever comes after Shrek will be... Thanks, man. Or whatever it will be, it will be amazing. You know, you've got me. Just keep in contact. Yeah, you're the keep best. Keep coming on the show. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm a huge advocate for what you do. Oh, thank you. I'm a big advocate for what you do. Look at us. Just... Oh, Never wait, ending are you guys still watching? Each- yeah, still watching. We're just raving about each other. Having a bit of a girl crush here. <laughs> and before we do wrap up today, mm-hmm. do you guys do you actually have any advice for the people watching that want to get into performing or be yeah, a choreographer yeah, yeah. or yeah. anything in, in this beautiful industry? Oh my gosh, I have so, so many. I have so many things that I could say right now about all of that. Um, if you do want to pursue a career in this industry, by all means, follow your dreams. Um, I'm a realist though at the same time too and I I want to stress that it is not easy by any means Um, you need to fight really hard if you really want to you have to be hungry because it is probably quite a saturated market at the moment too everybody you know wants to be and why wouldn't you want to be a part of this beautiful world that we get to live in we get to play dress ups every day and we get to tell wonderful stories so if you do want to pursue a career in the arts in whatever forum um, creative or you know behind the scenes or on stage follow it with all your heart and soul but really commit a thousand percent to it yeah oh yeah you definitely get the commitment because yeah. as you said it's way way too competitive oh yeah so if you're not committed someone else is going to get it ahead of you even anything you know, yeah. in our entertainment industry even yeah. my job if you yeah. don't keep up with it people are gonna That's take it. over yep you know there'll be someone else right behind me that wants my job so yeah you gotta be your keep going. own best critic at the end of the day and just keep pushing keep pushing mm. and as we mentioned before the smaller productions too oh, they're a great they're way amazing great way to train and oh my goodness get, get your, your um your work up and portfolio up. oh oh yeah the yeah, things at the haze and those smaller production companies do are uh, yeah and we'll get you no equipped with the big ones totally yeah so you're all ready <laughs> lots of learning and we are unfortunately getting to the end of the interview christine it's always very so quick yeah interview. it's actually really yeah it's really I annoying like how quick it goes <laughs> <laughs> but as a closing statement and mm. i know i did ask you this last time but Uh-oh. your answer may have changed Ooh. knowing what you know now what would you tell your 14 year old self Mm, it's probably going to be very similar. Not that I entirely remember, but my I, instincts. Are I don't remember say, either. So. <laughs> not to pay attention to those around you who want to bring you down, mm. um, because often um, those of us who are creatively inspired, I guess, 
there's like a certain like light about us and there's a certain want and um, a knowing of what we want to do and sometimes people you know and and not to blame what other people you know do or what not or not to even um, judge by all means but sometimes people try and dampen or dim that light a little bit don't let that happen mainly because yep. they're just jealous yeah you know it's it just too. like a thing and peer pressure i mean i copped a lot of that back in the day so that i think will always be my thing and because i always knew what i wanted to do it was like it was tough for me at times mm. so me i would too. just I yeah it. you get it mm. so i would say never let never let people push get through, in the way though. yeah wanting it so like so much yeah. nothing can get in the way Nuh-uh. but it does get tough yep. you are gonna have those people that are gonna put you down and go yeah. hey you want to do that yeah Good luck. it's that yeah. plenty um, of that yeah You're just the same person um <laughs> yeah i mean totally i oh, know it's great that's why we get along so well but uh before we go mm. if the people watching want to contact you find out what you're up to mm. in the future where should they go i mean i am always available on facebook and instagram on either um, my own personal instagram account which is at c daggers <laughs> d-a-g-a-s um and then or at the show can go on or even my facebook page i am genuinely you know always available to talk answer any questions have a chat and that is the whole point of the show can go on. So there you go. That's to exactly right. To have the community right. to chat. That's sure great. Is. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the you. show again. You're it's the best. been amazing. Thanks, Lauren. Oh, you're welcome on any time. I know I said that last time, and I truly, truly meant it. Thanks, it's man. I appreciate so it. Fun, so it is fun. It always is. <laughs> no, you're great. You're so supportive. Thanks for being there for us. Oh, you're welcome. For anybody in the performing arts, totally. I'm always. Number one fan because I, I get how hard it is yeah. and how hard you guys have worked to get to where you are, and that was the at the big reason I started this show in the first place. Yeah, so that's really awesome. get everyone to follow their dreams, even though it's not easy. No, nah. completely worth it. But you know, nothing like they say, nothing worth fighting for ever is easy. So yeah, exactly. Otherwise, we'd all have it, right? Yeah, boring. The world would be boring. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone from everyone watching, make sure to go buy your tickets for Shrek the yes. Musical now before it's too late here at Sydney Lyric Theatre until February 9th. They're here. Should have worn my ears. Should have worn my ears. Should have got me ears. Where so are cool. the ears? <laughs> we'll get them later. <laughs> and then maybe read through the interview. No, no I'm joking. Hey, suits me. <laughs> and as we mentioned, go follow. The show can go on on Thanks. Instagram and share it with your friends do all that jazz spread the word for christina (laughs) hey for everyone thank you but for now thanks for watching and we'll see you next time